Hello beautiful people, welcome to Remy's Fashion. My name is Remy. On this channel, we upload pattern drafting and sewing tutorials every week. Please subscribe and put on your notification bell so that anytime I upload new tutorials, you will be the first to be notified. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to cover a bra cup with fabric and lining. So let's get started. Materials you will need are already made bra cup. I have an already made bra cup here, so you need one. The size I'm going to be using for this tutorial is bra cup 40. I have a fabric here, African print, popularly known as Ankara, is what I'm going to be using to cover my bra cup. I also have a crepe fabric here. I'm going to be using this for the inner part of my bra cup as a lining. And I have my bias tape and a velvet bias, which you can use to create your boning channels. We're not going to be using them in this tutorial. All we're going to be doing in this tutorial is to cover our bra cup. I also have a hemming glue here, which is not compulsory. And then you should also have a fabric scissors. I have my fabric scissors here, my rotary cutter. If you're going to be using the rotary cutter, you should have a healing mat. I have a measuring tape, a tailor's chalk, and a matching thread. I have folded my fabric into four places. I folded it once, see, one, then two, into four places. And then I'm going to cut out a circle. I'm going to cut out five and a half inches. I'm going to start measuring from the top from here. I measure five and a half inches and I will mark. This is the same method of cutting a circle skirt. I have a tutorial on how to cut a circle skirt on this channel. If you haven't seen that, I will put a link in the description box below and on the cards above. So I'm going to measure five and a half inches all round like this, just as if I'm cutting a circle skirt, just like I said earlier, five and a half. It's going to be enough to cover a bra cup. The bra cup I'm using for this tutorial is size 40. And then I'm just going to cut out. I'll cut out a second one as well because we need two. I'm going to cut out two. One for each bra cup and then I'll cut out two on the lining as well. I'm using my crepe fabric as my inner part and that's going to serve as my lining. So that's 5.5, 5.5. So these are my two pieces and then from this edge i'm going to measure one inch like this and i'll just connect that one inch to the middle of my circle like this and then i'll cut it out once i cut it out this is what i have so we're going to use half an inch seam allowance i'm just going to sew and join these two together so i'm going to do the same thing for the other one i'm just going to measure one inch like this and then I'll connect to the center like this and then I'll cut it out so now I have my two pieces see so this is what they look like so I'm going to join this to this and this to this I'll now cut my inner part which is going to be serving as my lining I'll do exactly what I did for my fabric I measured 5.5 inches so I'm just going to do the same thing And then I'm going to cut out. I have all my pieces. So after cutting out, this is what I have. I have my two fabric pieces and then I have for the lining. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to face them right sides facing right sides, right sides facing right sides. I pin them together and then I will stitch from the top to the bottom, from the top to the bottom, from the top to the bottom. So let's go to the sewing machine and then we sew them. So I have two pairs, two pairs for the fabric and then two pairs for the lining. So now I'm going to sew using half an inch seam allowance. Always back stitch before and after you do a stitch. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to notch and be careful not to cut into your stitches when notching so that it can lay flat. 
so after notching this is what it looks like i'm going to sew the second fabric and then i will sew the lining pieces still using half an inch seam allowance then back stitch at the beginning and at the end every time you do a stitch this is the second one i'm going to notch as well once you're notching be careful not to cut into your stitches so after doing this this is what it looks like i'm going to do exactly the same for my lining pieces my ready-made cup i will now place the ready-made cup on my fabric and i'll make sure that there are no folds on the fabric so i'm going to be putting it like this make sure you do not have folds so you can place it this way this is vertically or you can place it this way horizontally like this but for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to be placing it vertically so i'm just going to pin it down so it doesn't shift see like this and then i'm going to sew round so this stitch inside the bra cup is what I'm going to be following in sewing in my fabric. So this is what we have. So the next thing we're going to do now is to cut out SS fabric. I'm going to be leaving half an inch seam allowance. And that's the half an inch I'm going to be using to join this main fabric to the lining fabric. So this is what it looks like so i'm going to do the same thing for the other bra cup i'm going to now sew it round just like we did for the first one see the second one is sewn this is what it looks like so these are the two bra cups so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to cut out leaving half an inch seam allowance on this one that we just sewn just like i did for the first one so i'm going to cut out now So after cutting out, this is what I have for both ready-made bra cup. So the next thing I'm going to do is to cover the inside of my bra cup with the lining. The right side of the lining and the right side of the fabric together, like this. By the time I sew the top and I flip it inside, it's going to be inside like this. So the right side of the lining is going to be facing the right side of my fabric. And then make sure you place it how you want it. I want mine like this. I want to make sure it aligns. See my lines? I want them to align. You put it right side facing right side. You can use your pins to hold it so that it will not shift. And then now I'm going to sew. So after sewing the top, I'm just going to flip it like this. So this flips over to the inside. So after sewing it down, I'll cut out the excess and I will notch. I'm going to notch it and I'm going to be careful not to cut into my stitches. I'll top stitch and I'll put all the seam allowances on the lining. And then I'll flip it over. See? So this is what we have. Flip it over. And this is the inside. And now the next thing we're going to do is to sew round. Make sure you make a cup for the lining on the inside. You can put a pin on the inside so that it's not flat when you're sewing. So now I'm going to sew my cup round with the lining inside. And then make sure you cup it in. The lining inside is not flat. Just make sure you have a cup on the lining on the inside. And then as you're sewing, you're adjusting, you're making sure that the inside is cupped in. The lining is not flat. So this is our lining sewn in. So what I'm going to do next is cut off the excess. So this is the inside. And this is the outside. I'm going to do the same process for the second breast cup. I'm just going to be sewing the upper part, the lining to the upper part. 
So I'm going to take the lining and I'll face it right side, facing right sides at the top. And then I'll line it up. I want this place to match. So I'll just line it up like this. I'll put a pin there so that it will not shift. Make sure it's covering it fully. You don't want it to fold while you're sewing. And you do not want it to be flat on the inside. You want to have the cup on the lining side as well. I'm just going to sew the top, just the top. So after sewing it down, I'll cut out the excess and I will notch. I'm going to notch it and I'm going to be careful not to cut into my stitches. So I'll now flip it over. So this is how it's supposed to be. The lining is going to be covering the inside. See? So now I'm going to top stitch and making sure that all the seam allowances are facing towards the lining, the inner part. So after top stitching, I'm just going to sew round now. So just make sure you have a cup on the inside of the lining and it's not flat. Don't sew it flat. Sew it with a cup on the inside. I'm going to sew round now. Or you can hold it down with a pin. You see? This way you have a cup on the inside. So what I'm going to do now is sew round. So after sewing the inner lining, this is what it looks like. So now I'm going to cut off the excess. Here we have our breast cups. So this is how to cover your breast cup. These are the inside of the breast cup. I'm going to go and give them a good press now. So this is the inside of our ready-made bra cup all covered. And this is the right side. So this is the ready-made bra cup all covered. So you can use any fabric of your choice to cover your ready-made bra cup and then you can use it to sew different designs of your corset i hope this tutorial was helpful please subscribe if you've not done so already and give me a thumbs up thank you for watching see you in my next tutorial take care and god bless